Hey, what's up, everybody? So I decided to um, switch it up today with the way I'm filming this video. You know, I've I've made a ton of videos on this channel, and you know, sometimes you just want to do something different. I think I've made 2,000, nearly 2,000 videos on this channel, which is honestly quite surprising. And it honestly doesn't feel like I've been making videos as long as I have. I started in May of 2020, which is actually, you know, more than four years ago, which is crazy. But now I want to talk about something that David Bottiari had to say recently. And it was in an interview with Adam Schefter recently. And there was an article that basically summed it up, put out in the past few days on ESPN. It doesn't have an author or doesn't name an author. So I guess it's just... ESPN seemed to write it, whoever that is. And first off here, it says Bottiari, who was released by the Packers after 11 seasons in March, said in an interview on the Adam Schefter podcast that he's really happy with the progress from his latest surgery, a major procedure that took place in November, so much so that he hopes to play another of couple another couple of years. And Bottiari, I mean, we know for the past few seasons in Green Bay, it was just a, a lot of unfortunate circumstances where it, it seemed at times like maybe he would, he was getting close to returning and then he comes back and then has another setback. It was just a, a very unfortunate situation for him. In his final years in Green Bay, of course, this offseason, he had a massive cap hit of $40 million. The Packers releasing him freed up $20 million. So it made sense to move on from him. And it sounds like he is hopeful that he can go on playing healthy in the future continues here he said that the surgery had a lot of big question marks going into it but that he feels really good now and credited his surgeon brian cole for doing a phenomenal job he says my goal right now is just to make sure that i'm i not only fully recover but i can withstand and play the game that i want to play but also play and be there for a team no matter what batiari said I'm not a reliever guy. I'm your cornerstone guy. Someone that's not only going to play in September, but in December and into February, and obviously, hopefully, for another couple of years. So I guess the question for me is, you know, when it comes to the surgery he had and the, I mean, I guess, I guess trying to get back to being fully healthy, I hope for him that he is able to get back to being healthy and not having any more kind of setbacks. I just know that in his final years in Green Bay, final year, it, it felt like, okay, maybe he'll be back and, and get going. But last year played in a game and then had some more complications. So um, I think that if you're another team trying to sign him, I would assume would be a somewhat cheap-ish contract until they can assure, assure that he's going to be able to stay healthy because it, I think it's risky to sign him when you don't know if he's going to be the player he once was and, and if he's going to be able to stay consistently healthy. Because even when he was with the Packers, when he was playing in those, you know, couple seasons when he was dealing with those injuries, he was still playing at like a top tier level, was still one of the better tackles in the league when he was healthy. His problem, of course, is just staying healthy. And it says here, Batiari 32 said that there has been interest from teams, but that he wants to make sure there's no question marks before he signs with a team. I'm guessing that's question marks in regards to his health. It says he said he's ahead of schedule, but still needs to clear a couple more hurdles before he is comfortable returning to the field. A realistic timetable for signing with a team could be just before training camp next month, in the middle of the preseason in August, or in the beginning of the season in September, Batiari said. So we're in what, the end of June now, which will put that in the next couple months. So we'll see there. Although Batiari wants to continue his career, he doesn't expect that to mean a reunion with Aaron Rodgers or Jordan Love, the past two quarterbacks that he has protected. He noted that Rodgers' New York Jets selected left tackle Olufashanu in the first round, signed all-pro left tackle Tyron Smith in free agency, and traded for right tackle Morgan Moses. And if the Packers, quote, wanted me to protect Jordan Love, they wouldn't have fired me. So I guess that that is the truth. And I had said a couple days ago, uh, when I saw one of these posts or one of these quotes uh, but from uh, Batiari about him, he said he wants to play. He basically wants to go play for whoever has the next Super Bowl MVP because he clearly wants to win a Super Bowl. He is, you know, now 32 years old. <clears throat> and I assume the older you get, the more that the personal accomplishments and contracts and accolades no longer probably mean as much as, you know, really wanting to 
actually win a championship. But I had said that I thought he may sign with the Jets. I had honestly forgotten that the Jets had added all these tackles. So that was did not make too, too much sense, honestly. So I, I revoked that bad take um, because they brought in two left tackles and a right tackle. So from from the standpoint of, you know, Batiari and Rodgers being just such close friends, you know, we've, we've known Rodgers going into New York, wanted to bring his friends over. But with all the tackles they have there, I doubt he goes to New York. So I don't know where Batiari is going to end up and what kind of contract he would be looking for. Because even if you, let's say, bring David Batiari... Sorry, I thought something moved there. Um, even if Batiari came in and practiced and looked somewhat healthy... Like, can you be for can you for sure know that he's going to be okay considering his past injury history? I think that's a question that teams are going to ask. But at the same time, I think like a, a cheaper contract for him could make sense because if you're a team that wants to potentially have a top tier tackle, you may be getting that with Batiari if he stays healthy. And so I, I I would assume that some team out there would take a risk, depending on what the the numbers are. I would assume some team will be willing to take that risk because let's say he stays healthy. You're going to get a bargain on Batiari if he stays fully healthy and continues to play at the level that uh, you know, he's played for the majority of his career. But that is all for this one. Thank you for watching. If you want more Packers content, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can also follow me on Twitter where I post sometimes. You can follow me, LukeBeller3. But that is it for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.